So I'll be taking a look at the Aldi 4.8 volt cordless screwdriver from a couple of years back. Okay, so I'll take a look at the Aldi Work Zone 4.8 volt cordless screwdriver from a few years ago. That's mainly because I've been sat in a hospital for the past couple of weeks uh, as a visitor and haven't had much time to pick anything up or buy anything new or anything like that. So take a look at this for now. Um, it was sold. I can't remember how much it was sold for. It was sold for a few uh, few years back now, uh, but it has been uh, it has been uh, a good buy. It's still working. Still in good good working order. As you can see, the battery's just a bit low. Now, the design of this, it does look like something a uh, sexually frustrated middle-aged woman would keep under her mattress. Um, we know that by looking at it. But uh, I see there a couple of their newer ones have sold since then have been more of a gun style. This one does have the option to uh, turn it into a gun with this button here. You've also got um, a setting in between that, so you can have it slightly angled as well. So you've got the three, three part um, to it there. And on the front we do have a light. Like I say the battery's a little bit low at the minute so it probably won't be, uh, but you can see it there. A uh, standard bulb as opposed to an LED uh, with a kind of magnifying um, lens on the cap here but it's uh, you know that's still good enough for lighting up the uh, the area where you want to work especially if it's uh, dark I suppose if your people are renovating a, a house the electric might be cut or the um, or if you're building a house the electric might not be uh, connected there might be a time where you might need a a light on the front of your tool so you've got that there I suppose I'm not saying that you are going to use this on a building site necessarily but uh, I suppose there would be some work zone stuff uh, out there I wouldn't be surprised now um, there isn't too much um, information on the battery I'm suspecting it's uh, NIMH I doubt it's a uh, NICAD and I doubt it's the newer li, uh, the LiPo or um, Li-Ion, should I say, with uh, power tools. They're usually Li-Ion. Um, it could be, because it's still only a few years old. It, it could be, but I doubt it. It's probably uh, NIMH or NICAD. But the obviously the voltage is 4.8. I don't know if we can zoom in on there. Um, on that information so you've got no load speed 180 rpm and a charge time of three to five hours which tells me it's not lie on there the newer lie on um, pieces are usually um, you know, now you're looking at one to two hours as opposed to three to five hours, like the older, slightly older tech. So it's still working, uh, still charging um, fine. Obviously, you got a longer charge time to wait for something like this, but it still, it still does the job um, that you would want. Um, I didn't really see any point in uh, picking up the um, any of the newer ones that they sold. You know this one was still working fine. It's not used a you know a great deal. Uh, I use it mainly in, indoors, taking things off like hinges and stuff that stuff like that. Um, it's still a couple of hinges that I kept in the box. You know stuff where it's been screwed up for and left for a while. It's hard to remove. Um, things like that. Um, I have used it for the odd bit and bob on. Um, say on the motorbike anything screwdrivery you know just for quickness to remove um, some screws rather quickly uh, things like that a general DIY I know some people do use them when they build their computers and their, P their they build the PCs but you're not I was trained 
you're not supposed to use anything magnetic or any power tool so even though you see people on YouTube using these you aren't supposed to use um, a power drill or a power screwdriver when you're building a computer um, again um, that's what we were trained in around the CompTIA so um, you take a look at the um, accessories obviously it comes in this in the cardboard box similar to the uh, the drills that we just seen um, that I looked at work zone drill that I looked at before um, it tells you about the uh, it says here that it is an LED work light it looked to me because it was it's always been ever so slightly um, you know off color um, and that is a magnet that is um, um, a magnified um, lens as you can see there and it's always been uh, lock and orange I mean if I look in if I look inside um, at a slight angle they, again they look like bulbs with an, with an, with an element in there or so um, to me they are they are normal bulbs regardless um, of the fact that they've labelled them as LED work like they are to me they're normal bulbs uh, if I unscrewed that um, cap, if I unscrewed that and pulled the cap off I think you'd you'd basically see what I can see, I don't know if I can try and get it at an angle um, but you can basically, yeah, you can you can see in person through there that there's, it's a you can just about make it out there but I don't know if you can see there's an, there's an element in there so it's a little bit like um, car dashboard uh, bulbs kind of thing um, you know with that glass cover with the bulb in there so it's definitely a bulb and not an LED um, that is good though that you can actually that is removable so if they do uh, fail you can try and have a go at replacing them with a similar uh, size bulb if you uh, know what you're looking for and looking to replace obviously that's the switch for the um, for the light there on the top um, in the um, box obviously you've got your uh, your manual and your, and your warranty it did say that it came with a a three year warranty I think that's basically been three three years now anyway so but it's still it's still working uh, in good working order we come with um, just zoom back out we come with a, a charge a, ch a wall charger which plugs into the unit there And then obviously you leave it for three to five hours to charge. There's no um, there's no indicator on this particular charger that we can see. It's just a straight charger, and you have to uh, get your stopwatch out, and charge, and have a look to see how long it's been on charge for. You do get. An extendable, extendable, extend, uh, well, flexible extent extension for going at any angle. Along there, you can put your bits in there or your bits and sockets with the ex with the uh, extension. You can actually get. Right, if we take a look in the little box inside here. We can see that we also have some um, S2 or CRV type bits. In there we've got some uh, Allen bits, some Phillips bits, some Posi bits. As you can see there. We've got some Torx bits. And some We've got some flat flat head bits all in there. We've 
we've got ourselves um, a regular extension for the bits. And we've also got ourselves a little set of quarter inch sockets and a bit to work quarter inch adapter there which is included in there which is uh, alright they might not be the best the highest quality sockets but it's quite nice to have them in there you haven't got to go rummaging around your regular socket for your regular sockets when it comes to uh, you know putting something together like a modern dining table or something with the bolts and the nut heads um, it's all there you can just get on and use it there there and then in the box now somebody did um, buy one of the one of the Aldi's Powercraft versions of their electric screwdriver now Powercraft is another uh, name that Aldi use for their tools like they do work zone they call some of them Powercraft um, as well I haven't seen as many um, in recent years whether they've still continued to call uh, some tools that they do Powercraft or not I'm, I'm unsure um, but somebody gave me theirs where the uh, the actual screwdriver itself um, had stopped working I see if it was any good to me oh, I couldn't be bothered with fixing the uh, the unit I think it's still somewhere in the shed or, or, or I just uh, got rid of it I didn't I didn't really have the time and beans already had one um, anyway then there was no point however I do use I do you tend to use this case I just store that the original cardboard box away I do tend to use the case because it does um, does fit this uh, this one perfectly as you can see, it's a bit of a, the Powercraft one came in a bit of a, a, tough, a tough, tougher case, more useful case than the, uh, the cardboard box work zone one did. The charger does charge the, um, the unit as well, when I use, oh, I've been using that as the unit's charger. Um, so whether it was exactly the same, give or take some uh, slight aesthetic differences. To the unit it pretty much probably was you can see that the um, the Powercraft one comes with the exact same um, amount of soft amount of quarter inch sockets there and the regular extension exactly the same also the flexible extension and a full quota of the bits there as well um, alongside the quarter inch uh, adapter for the sockets so it's easier for me to keep this uh, in this box the Powercraft box it does fit it seems to be pretty much the same um, thing the, it didn't look it, it was exactly the same kind of um, a cordless screwdriver but there was some slight, obviously there was some slight, it was a darker blue and it was like a navy blue and there was a um, slightly different part on the, on the handle uh, things like that but um, for the most part internally it was probably exactly the same uh, the same unit and it's just easier to keep things like this you just keep that box lying around for, for, uh, for spares obviously if I have a problem in this uh, the charger buggers up um, I can just grab the charger out of there and bung that in there um, same for the uh, the bits as well the bits seem to be very similar um, I'm not sure if this big torqued one is in there but you know you've got some uh, some flatheads some allen some posi um, a couple of torques as well but you know you've got both. I've got the I've got the both there anyway. But it it looks to be exactly the same um, kit in a different in a unit in, the, in a different presentation. Um, like I found that recent um, Aldi Works own cordless drill is the exact same one that uh, Draper sell for fifty quid 
for forty nine ninety nine. So um, it was kind of a bargain for um, the twenty four pound.